All right, so chances are you've either been hired by a company or you own your own business and you're trying to just take pictures of your own products. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to make your own light box without having to buy and spend all your money on an actual light box. Let's check it out. Whoa! What's going on guys, it's Anthony Isaac, how are you today? Today I just wanted to show you a really quick, cheap, cheap, cheap way to make a DIY light box for product photography, maybe you work for a company, maybe you've been asked to do so. I did not know that product photography was going to become such a big part of my life. So, I never bought a light box, and I actually just got one and it's in the mail right now, but in the meantime, what I was doing was something very cheap, simplistic, and still brought me quality photos that you wouldn't even realize are made so cheap and just like jerry-rigged right together. So today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Let's check, let's check, let's take a look at this guy right here. All right, so what I just have is a dollar store piece of a poster board, literally that white poster board. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut out pieces into the shape of a light box and then we're gonna get this assembled. Let me show you guys what you're gonna need today. All right, now the only thing you're gonna need today is your poster board, some sort of a straight edge, a ruler or a flat book, a pen to mark your lines, a uh, X-Acto knife, and strangely enough, not that many, but a couple of toothpicks. Okay, let's show you guys how to build some. All right, so what I'm gonna start off doing is taking my straight edge. And I'm literally gonna cut this poster board almost exactly in half. I personally like to cut on the side that's dirtiest because when I bend it, I'm actually going to be folding up and the cleaner side will look a lot nicer. So cut. And then instead of back here where I've made mistakes, split it here. And then it's just gonna be a lot nicer up this seam so where you can barely even notice it. And that's going to give you that nicer. Now, from here, ooh, almost poked myself, so be careful, kids at home. So I'm actually going to come down the back to make the rest of this. So we're going to come back, flip it over again, and we're going to cut here. A little less than one third of the way down. See if I can keep it straight. Fold this up, fold this up. Now this right here is gonna be where the toothpicks come into play. Just gonna go back down here. We're gonna take these toothpicks. I'm going to force in here through one side of that to hold those together. See? Ta-da! Now that has just one side built. Flip it over. Now remember, this isn't supposed to be anything pretty right here. This is literally just supposed to make our products 
look focused and pretty on the products. I don't care what the setup looks like because it'll be cropped in and cut in a way that it'll look like the most professional picture you've ever taken. Now, I might not show up to a job or a set like this. I might have them give me my products if it's really cheap or say your very first like job in marketing is uh, you know with, with the owner of your company and he's having you take some product shots and you're like, I can do that. I can, I can take some product shots. This might be a thing to take things home and do for your first time, but I definitely wouldn't show up to a set with this stuff. Definitely not gonna make you look the best. So now we have the little perfect black box. I can throw just about any cool little product I want in there. Look at this. But literally, that is the best, easiest, cheapest way for me to make a little uh, black box, light box setup. I've done it with whiteboard, blackboard. This is just a cheap, easy way for you to have something on an emergency shoe. Maybe you forgot yours at a shoe because you were just a fool and you left one piece of equipment in the car or at home, whatever. You have a dollar store setup to make product photography happen right here in your house as an amateur, good to go. Guys, thank you for turning in. Always remember to like the video, subscribe to the video, come check out the channel, and I'll see you next time. Let's go.